Hi, this is Callan Hewitt from Caltech Center, and I'm going to take a tour of the Marley Station Mall in Glen Burnie, Maryland. We're here right outside the Macy's Court here at Marley Station. In front, straight ahead to, to your right, is Gold's Gym, Ritz Camera, and some and a braiding center for hair braids. There's the escalator to the lower level. Mar Marley Station is a Taubman Mall. It was designed by Alfred Taubman and it opened in 1987. There's an exit. This is the floor plan of the mall right here. This is, and we are right, we are right here on the upper level. Right here. This is where we are. Now let's take a tour of the mall. It's a seating area. Marley Station today is a far cry from what it originally was when it opened in 1987. In 1987, it was oh, it opened as a fairly upscale mall. It was intended to be upscale and have, for, and have upscale tenants, but due to But due to several factors, one, the opening of Arundel Mills Mall, and two, like the expansion of Annapolis Mall, and there are just better malls in the deep, in, in, there are better malls up in Baltimore, like Towson Town Center, here's Sears right there, and there's a, a nice, there's a court right there. Anywho, since there were other malls that opened, that it's like the expansion at Towson Town Center in 1991, the opening of Arundel Mills, which is about 10 miles from here, sort of which caused this mall to sort of decline in the 2000s. Now it's mainly mom and pop stores like this store right here. Even though Arundel Mills is an outlet mall, it still has a lot of the same stores that a regular mall would have. And here we are at Center Court. This is Center Court here at Marley Station Mall. Get a nice... You see the elevator going down. Style Forever 21. Looks like American Eagle Outfitters is has is remodeling. They're, remo they're so something's about to change here. They're remodeling American Eagle Outfitters. Yankee Candle Company. Yeah, just again, they're again, they're just mostly mom and pop stores that are in this mall right now, today. Many of the national chain stores have left this mall. They used to have a really good lineup of chain stores, but it left.
right straight ahead is one of the 1990s expansions, uh, J.C. Penney, which was added in 1994. Sears, just a while ago that we passed, opened in 1996. Looks like more vacancies here at this mall. still a pretty decent mall, but it's a far cry from what it used to be. It's a nice sculpture and seating area down below. Nail tricks and spots. Oh, they got a new gym in here. This is new. Hardcore boxing and fitness. That's a new store here at this mall. Looks like a boxing ring, a boxing gym. You can see the people exercising in the boxing ring. Straight ahead is the former Boscov's location, which was originally the former Macy's, the original Macy's, but in 2006, this Macy's moved to the opposite end of the mall where Heck Company used to be. Now it's in the, Macy's is in the current Hex building. This Macy's had a nice set of Westinghouse escalators that were mirrored. It's sort of sad that you can't go to that. You can't ride them anymore because the store is closed, so. Yeah. Right here, more dead stores. This whole end of the mall is dying. It's sort of dead, but there's still some stores here, but there are a lot of vacant stores here. Right now, we're about to take an escalator down. It's an Otis escalator. Take an escalator down. As a kid, I think this, this is where I sort of got over my fear of escalators on this escalator. When I was sort of like, my, my first time I went to the small mall, I was like two years old. It is escalator. More vacant stores. Malls are totally dead yet, but it's it's kind of getting it's not dead yet. It's not as bad as Owens Mills Mall. Bags Palace, another mom and pop store. Tony Cards and Memorabilia, another mom and pop sports sports memorabilia store. There's a staircase. Journeys. We're now gonna walk towards the movie theater area here. <laughs> B 
here. This is the movie theater here at Marley's, towards the movie theater at Marley Station. Straight ahead is the entrance, exit of the mall. Boardwalk fries. See that they've turned off the neon lights that used to be that used to they used to hang in the ceiling on the trusses. See, neon lights are off. Again, once again, center court. There's a sculpture we're about to pass. This is what I'm talking about, the trusses. See on those trusses, there were pink neon lights on those trusses, but now they're turned off. But right here, and we're going to end our tour here as we go upstairs, right here in front of Macy's, where we started. Here, and there you have it. Marley Station Mall, Glen Burnie, Maryland. Here.